Hi, welcome to the lesson. So we're going to learn Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Brilliant choice of song. I absolutely love it. You may already know that I was in a Red Hot Chili Peppers tribute band for a few years and we toured all over the country playing student unions and we have loads of fun. So let me demonstrate to you now what I'm going to show you in this lesson. So obviously that's the main riff of the song that it starts on. So let me begin by showing you that and then there's some more chords we're going to learn and I'm going to teach you the solo as well. So here goes. We're going to start with an A minor chord and what that is, in case you don't already know, is the second string at fret one with the first finger, and then the middle finger on the fourth string at fret two and the third finger right behind it on the third string at fret two. So you can check the chord chart next to me if you just want to make sure you got that right. So what I'm going to ask you to do is pluck the fifth string, which is open, and then the fourth string. And then take your first finger off of the second string and pluck it open. And then put the first finger back on and pluck it on fret one. So if we join those notes together, we get this. Okay, good. Now, what I've done with this riff is I've combined the guitar part and the bass part together because on the album, uh, the guitar and bass play the intro riff. So when we play it on our own, I want it to sound as realistic as possible. So that's why I've included the bass notes in this lesson. So the bass notes go like this. So after you finish that chord, your middle finger is already on the fourth string at fret two. So I'm gonna ask you to pluck the fourth string then take your fingers off, pluck the fourth string open and hammer on to fret two and then pull off. So you already know about hammer-ons and pull-offs because we learned that as part of the free 12-part course that I gave you. So if you haven't already seen that, I suggest you go and have a look at it. A, because it's free and B, because it's really useful. So fret two, open, hammer and pull off. And then finish by reaching across to the fifth string at fret three. So it goes like this. So if we play that from the start. Okay, good. Now, this next bit is a little bit tricky, but I think you'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna teach it to you like this, but the reality is that John Frusciante actually plays it with his thumb. But um, let's, let's start like this and see how you get on. And if you wanna swap it out for the thumb later on, then I'll leave that up to you. So the sixth string's at fret one, and the fifth string's at fret three, like this. Uh, first finger, third finger. So what we've really got there is a power chord of F. And you're gonna pluck string six, then five. Now, your first finger should be arched up, and the reason for that is we want to pluck the third string open whilst we're still holding those notes down. Okay, and now the middle finger is going to go on to the third string at fret two, and you're going to give that a pluck. So if you join it together, it sounds like this. And you've noticed I've held all of those notes on, so they all sustain together like one chord. And now there's two little bass notes on the end and you can use it with the same shape that you've already got on. All you have to do is pluck the fourth string, which is currently open, and then pluck the fifth string, which is already at fret three. So if you join that on the end, it sounds like this. <laughs> okay, that's quite tough on the fingers, but I think you'll get used to it if you practice. Um, so let me just demonstrate the alternative. Some people's hands are flexible enough to get the thumb over the top to hold on to fret one, and it actually makes the rest of the notes a little bit easier. So let me demonstrate that. So de depending how flexible your wrist is, I'll leave that up to you to experiment. So let me just demonstrate the whole thing. You can see I chose to use my thumb there. Right, okay, so it repeats that riff over and over again as he sings the verse, and eventually um, we get to some chords, um, and it goes like this. Okay, so what we got there is a C chord, so if you don't already know that, it's the fifth string at fret three, middle finger on the fourth string at fret two, and the first finger on the second string at fret one. And we're gonna strum five strings. So what I mean by that is the fifth string downwards. 
I've strummed it twice. Now we're going to change to a G chord and the way to do this is to take these two fingers which are already on the C chord, move them to the 6th and 5th string and then put the little finger on the 1st string at fret 3 and the 1st finger is not doing anything. And with the G you can strum all the strings. <laughs> Now we're going to play an F bar chord. Now you should have already learned the bar chords again, it was part of the free 12 part course that I gave you. So um, I assume at this stage that you're already familiar with this type of bar chord shape. So put your first finger across all the strings at fret 1, the middle finger on the third string which is fret 2, and then these two fingers on the fifth and fourth string, both at fret 3. So that's an F chord, you can strum it twice, all the strings. <laughs> And then we're going to go to a D minor chord. First string at fret 1, middle finger on the third string at fret 2, and then the second string at fret 3. Okay? So look at the chord box if you just need to check that. And remember, with a D minor chord, we're just strumming four strings. Okay, good. So let's join them together. C, G, F, and D minor. Good. And at that point, they go back into the original riff. And that continues to repeat over and over again whilst they sing another verse. And eventually, uh, we start to strum an A minor chord and an F major 7 chord. So I'll explain that now. It's going to sound like this. So you already know the A minor and you might have noticed that I'm using my thumb to gently touch the 6th string and what that does is stops it from accidentally making a noise if we were to hit it with the plectrum because remember the A minor only uses the 5 strings. So the strumming pattern I'm going to ask you to use is down, down, up, down, down and then up, 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 down, down. So if we join that together we get this. Okay, and you can look at the arrows at the bottom of the screen to clarify that. So the next chord we're going to use is F major 7. Now listen carefully, it's a bit of a strange chord this, because this is a type of chord um, that needs the thumb to hold down the 6th string at fret 1. So what's happened is we're still using the 2nd string at fret 1, um, the middle finger is on the 3rd string at fret 2, these two fingers have come across to the 5th and 4th string both at fret 3. And Let's just try that for a second. Now the important thing is, the important thing is that the first string is open. So you don't want the back of the first finger accidentally to be touching the first string. Please make sure the first string's open. Now if at this stage you feel comfortable, you can get the thumb to hold down the sixth string at fret one. Otherwise you can leave it out and we've just strummed the five strings instead. And you can use the same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, down. Up, 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 down, down. Good. So when we change from one chord to the other and back again, it'll sound like this. Um, and he does both of those chords actually six times before eventually they get to the chorus chords, which are C, G, D minor, and A minor. And then again, C, G, and then strum the D minor once. Good. And of course you're already familiar with those chords because we talked through them earlier in the lesson. Brilliant. So um, those are the components of the song. Now obviously I've showed you each part but you need to know what sequence to play them in and what I suggest you do is have a look at the PDF document that you downloaded with the lesson because if you print it out and have it next to you it tells you exactly what to play when in what order throughout the song. So the last thing I want to show you is the solo which is a really popular solo. I get lots of students asking asking me to teach them it, so I think you're going to enjoy playing it. What you want to do is put your middle finger on the second string at fret 10 and give that a pluck. Then the first finger goes on the first string at fret 9. Third finger comes across to the 
third string at fret 11 and we're going to bend. So you can see that I've used these other fingers to help bend the string. So if we join that together it sounds like this. And then he plays it again. And then I'm going to ask you to play three times on that third string at fret 11, but this time you're going to play it once more and pull off to fret 9. So what that means is your first finger is already going to be in place on fret 9. This finger um, is holding down the note. The middle finger really is not doing anything as such. You're going to pluck the third string and pull that note away. And you already know how to do that because we talked about it earlier. And then end up on the fourth string at fret 11. So what that looks like is this. And you end up playing the fourth string twice. And then play the fourth string at fret 9. And then 11. Third string at 9. Bend the third string at 11 again. And then go off to fret 9. Finish up on the fourth string at fret 11. OK, so if we join that together... Okay, so the next bit goes like this. Second string at fret 10, like it did at the start. First string at 9. Little finger goes up to the first string at 12. And then up to the first string at fret 14. And then play those notes again. But this time you're going to bend fret 14. So you can see I'm using all those fingers to help push. and then pluck twice on the end. So let me just go from there. Okay, so now we're gonna go even higher up the neck. We're gonna start on little finger at fret 17. So you might have to count your way up the neck to find where you are. Step down onto the third finger on fret 16, and then off to the first finger on fret 14. So that sounds like this. Little finger goes to the second string at 17. And then back to the first string at 14. And then to the second string again at fret 17. Off to 14 on the second string. So let me just demonstrate that. Good. And then what you're going to do is do little finger again at 17 on the second string off to 14 again but this time we're going to hold the second string at fret 14 with our first finger these two fingers are come onto the third string at 16 um, but what's going to happen those two fingers are going to push that note at fret 16 and with the plectrum we're plucking strings three and two so not only are we hearing the string that's bending we're also hearing the note that's held down by the first finger pluck it three times Okay, so let me just go from there. And then we're going to play the second string with the little finger again, 17. And then we're going to go to the first string at fret 14, bend up and down, off to 12, second string at 14, first string at 12. 14 on the second string, off to 12 on the second string, end up on the third string at 14, and then little finger to the second string at 17, off to 15. Okay, I think I need to demonstrate that last bit to you, so here it goes. And at that point, when the solo's finished, they go back into that main riff again, like we started on. So, the whole solo, once through.
and so on and the song continues so there you go you've got all the bits now I've given you all the parts um, so it's your job to go and practice them now get them up to speed get them sounding good and then you're gonna paste them all together and it'll sound brilliant so thanks for joining me in the lesson go and print out the PDF document uh, you know so you got all the structure written down so you can practice it in your own time watch this video over and over again and enjoy playing the guitar so thanks for joining me I'll see you in another lesson soon take care bye